I'm going to do a quick little video here regarding Spline Street Constructor. And if you all remember my tutorial on it, uh, you got an idea how to use it. But I discovered a new way to use it that's even more exciting, I think. Uh, it involves three scripts. Now, I'll be linking these in the the description, so don't worry about it. And where they go is, as you can tell, under your app data uh, scripts. And it'll be four scripts, rather. This one is already built into the new Giants editor, but it's encrypted. And we need to set a couple things. So I went out and got the original one from the same author. And as you can tell, you can adjust two lines. 53 and 54. The script I'm putting up for you already has them adjusted uh, for zero height offset. And this is the half width. It's going to be 7.5 meters, which is going to be 15 meters flat is what that spine is going to make. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'll put all these in the description. So let's get out. Uh, oh, and one other thing. When you start, you want to take your SSC or street spline constructor directory and you want to put it right in to the same map uh, I've got it here under roads objects uh, this is where my streets blank constructor is for the moment I'll take it out before I publish the map but it's easier just to work with it there than trying to pull it from outside so without further ado let's open it uh, let's load a parameter and I've got one called test R&D that has the sand already up here, uh, already pointing to the from the right directories, etc. Uh, I can set this. That's again right directory because that's all that's going to be crucial. Uh, now minimize that. Now let's open our Giants editor. With that streets set terrain by spline one script loaded, it does this. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. You take that script out of that app data directory, and it doesn't do that. As far as I'm concerned, it's it's a meaningless something that the script is throwing, and I'm not. I haven't gone through the script to find out why it's trying to call something. But let's see here. Here's my Yuma Valley map, as a lot of you know. And then, no, it's not flat. There are quite a few bit of elevation changes, as you can tell throughout the map. It is not flat by any stretch of imagination. It looks flat uh, overall, but oh, no, it is not. So, as you remember from the first video, I had you setting out the little markers across from point A to point B. Forget all about that. No more do we do that. We create a transform group. Okay. We go to scripts, spline placement create. That puts this in that transform group. Now I've already got my my box, but at this point what you would do would be to import the box. So let's just import uh, and go to our uh, spline street constructor and you'll see post and then edit cut paste. Ah, boy, did I mess up. Here, let's just try this all again here. Before I really mess up. New transform group. Scripts. Import. Post. 
edit, cut. Okay, objects to place. Paste. I put both of them in there. But we can take one of them out. Okay, as long as we got one in there, and as long as it's set to zero, zero, zero for rotation, we're in good shape. Now, we create a spline. Edit, cut, and put it in that directory as well. Paste. Now we use Control-8 and we put the spline where we want it to be. In this case, it's right here. Now, I drag that over to where it, the edge of the road there. I want to make sure that it's right to the point of the surface, you see? And that it's pretty much centered. Then we select the end, and we move it across. Now, you notice I'm not putting in height segments. Oh, hell no. That's for people that have our gluttons for punishment. And you can tell that the height, that the, the spline goes right through the ground there. That's fine. Not going to hurt it. We click on spline placement. We click here. We click here, and boom. Now we have posts all along our terrain set perfectly every six meters. Orientation, blue arrow going the way we want our road to go, which is fine. And you notice I'm moving that right there to the edge of the road. And I'll go back to the first one. And I'll move that right there to the edge of the road. Now, this is where I would have you click there by set, if you set it out manually and export that whole entire transform group and put that into Street Spline Constructor. We're not doing that now. Now we're going to the first box. Go down to the last box now and, and do it first to last. This is important first to last, highlight them all, export selection as a spline. Okay, now let's go in Street Spline Constructor again. We've got it all set up here. We open this, import our spline, 66 posts across there. This is the important part. I got bored yesterday and started, I translated everything on this interface. Didn't have to translate that, and I said, damn, I'd have missed that. In the middle, right or left, a traffic spline that's going to follow the roadway. <laughs> I went ahead and selected in the middle. Now, I just created a road by hitting that. Uh, when you hit that, it goes that fast. Bang, boom, done. Go here, go import. Now we've got a roadway. Okay? Now you notice, oh shit, it's, you know, there's ground over it and everything. But now, fear not, you have a spline going right down the middle of it that's the exact same height that you can go, oh. And let me do that again. Let's highlight the spline and go, oh. <laughs> now, Set this to 0 0.04, which is where all my other roadways are set. And then from there, all the way up to there, I can delete, and voila, I have a road. And if I need any cleanup, like what I've got there. Set these all down. Your opacity is down to 0 0.1. And just use your right 
mouse button to gently clean it up. Uh, but you have roadway, perfect height, follows terrain, with a road bed underneath that's perfect. Uh, there you go, boys and girls. You're not going to get any freaking easier than that. But it's a combination of these scripts uh, along with Street Spine Constructor that gives you this. Now, I'll be making a video later that handles how you would make something like this one that goes all the way around. Okay? And the way I did that was simple. Uh, as you see, I made that straight one, that straight one, and then I connected them. Okay? <laughs> it doesn't do corners really well with this method. But if you do the straight one, and then the other straight one, and then take those posts from those two, the end posts from one and the first post from the other, and put those into a group and do the third one, it'll do your corner for you automatically. And everything's all lined up, as you see. You cannot tell that there's anything amiss. But I'll be doing another video on that. Uh, this was just to give you an idea how easy it is to actually do. And as you can tell, I've been going hog crazy with roads. And I will. I'm going to put roads on every freaking thing out here. Uh, because it's just so easy to do now. You don't have to manually uh, place the, the posts. Uh, scripting will now do all that for you. And if you do it correctly, you will be able to... Uh, lay in roads like a master really quickly.